Good morning, Lanier Middle School. This is Molly Stiltner, uh, Curriculum AP at Lanier High School, and joining you today for our last Zoom video before you guys register for electives. So a couple of very important reminders this morning, and then we're going to show you um, the last of our elective videos. Most important thing is make sure you guys are in advisement the next couple of sessions. Um, I know a lot of you are digital and of course we're all digital this week. Make sure you're attending Zoom sessions, but there's going to be the fact that we're digital is not going to delay our registration process. So make sure you are tuning in and following um, your advisement teachers instructions about how to register for your courses. Okay. Um, like I said before, we are about to record your elective decisions, so details on that will come from Lanier Middle. After this process wraps up, there are two more things that we will do to finalize registration. The first is in about a month, we'll come back and talk to you guys about admissions to our CDEP program. So continue to think about that. Um, we'll put more registration and program information out for you. But uh, don't forget that decision is coming up. And then um, around spring break, we will print out what we call the student course request pr um, profile, which is a green sheet of paper. And that's gonna list all the courses you're registered for. So make sure you do two things. First of all, is you need to proof that and make sure that we have keyed in your request accurately. We do make mistakes every year. So we do count on our students to proofread for us. And then second thing is, if you've changed your mind about an elective, that is your opportunity to make a change. Um, so let's say you sign up for marketing principles and decide you want to take food, nutrition, and wellness. Perfectly fine. You will make that change on the student course request profile or green sheet and then turn it in. After that process, that's it. We don't make any changes. So we don't take emails over the summer that you've changed your mind. You have got to finalize that decision. Again, that's right around spring break. The reason for that is we build our master schedule and we hire our staff based on the number of requests that you guys give us. So we need you to honor those, um, those requests. Okay, so let's dive into some questions. We got some really good ones this week. Um, one of our students asked, is it okay to take orchestra and chorus at the same time? Absolutely, you can take multiple fine arts courses. In fact, that's a really popular option. So that is definitely something we could do. Um, another good question, are students gonna get an opportunity to tour the building? Um, our answer to that is we sincerely hope so. Um, normally we do host a tour of the building right around this time of year. Obviously we can't due to COVID, but as soon as COVID restrictions lift, that is on our, our list of to-do. Our to-do list is to make sure we get you guys in for an opportunity to tour the building. We traditionally host something called Freshman Experience, which is about a week to a week and a half before school starts. At this point, we are planning to host that um, again, and that will involve a tour. It's um, led by our peer leaders, our student peer leaders, and they uh, answer your questions about high school, take you around the building, lots of important information. So stay tuned. That flyer usually goes out over My Payments Plus. So we are very hopeful to be able to do that. So um, if we get to the end of this year, school year, and we have not been able to host a tour, just make sure you're paying attention to all of our communication avenues over the summer, because we may be able to do that during the summer. Um, another good question, can a student take foundations of engineering or introduction to technology after ninth grade? Absolutely, those courses are not reserved for just ninth graders. We have a lot of students who start those 10th, 11th grade, even sometimes 12th grade. So um, if you're not able to fit any of those first year path or first year of a pathway courses into your schedule, don't worry, you can always take them later. Okay, and very good question came in about um, the technology credits that are needed for graduation. I'm gonna pull up the handbook here, Let me share my screen. Okay, guys, you all have access to um, the registration guide. So I want you to pay attention to the graduation requirements that are listed toward the end of the guide. And here they are. So these are the units that are required to graduate from high school. Let me make this a little smaller. 
So you, four years of language arts, math, science, three years of social studies. That's why you don't take one year freshman year. Your health PE requirement, that's, um, we're registering all of our ninth graders for that. This is the section that, that sometimes folks have credits or questions about. The three credits that come from foreign language or fine arts or a tech ed elective. You can add these together anyway. So let's say a student right now has taken intro to business technology. That is a tech ed correct um, elective. Let's say that student then decides to take Spanish one at Linear High School and Spanish two at Linear High School. Those are your three credits. Um, a student who's taking band and then also takes two years of foreign language. There are your three credits. Um, a student who completes a technology pathway, let's say intro to healthcare, essentials of healthcare and sports medicine, that fulfills these three credits. So you can add those together. And then you need four just general elective credits. Um, so let's say you take four years of a foreign language. Well, there's your three. And then that last credit will come over and count in this category. So hopefully that will answer some of your questions about that. I know that can be confusing. So again, if you have any additional questions, if you'll just reach out to your um, advisement teacher, they will email me and I will get an answer back to you. Okay, well, before I sign off, um, just one last reminder, if you need assistance, please reach out to me through your advisement teacher via email. And at this point, I'm going to hand it over to show you our um, videos for foreign language and for fine arts. All right, Longhorns, I've enjoyed working with you in this first phase of the registration process and look forward to you guys being um, Lanier High School Longhorns. Bye. Hello, Lanier Middle. I'm Miss Silva, and I want to give you some information on our world language classes here at the high school. We offer courses in French, Spanish, and Spanish for Native speakers for you to choose from. So I'm going to help you figure out what to take next year. Some of you may be wondering if you even have to take Spanish or French when you start high school. The answer is no, you do not. It's perfectly fine to wait until 10th grade to start studying another language. Our classes do require a lot of work, so sometimes waiting until the 10th grade really helps. Now, I know that some of you are already taking Spanish 1 with Ms. Robinson. You guys will register for either Spanish 2 or Spanish 2 Honors. Ms. Robinson will help you make that decision. It's very important that you do not list Spanish 2 as an alternate on your registration sheet. We will definitely put you in one of those two classes, so choose other electives as your alternates. So if you aren't already taking Spanish and you know you do want to take a language class next year, how do you choose? It's all about what you're interested in. Why don't we hear from some students about what they think? Pero ¿qué hay para los estudiantes que ya hablan español? En Lanier High tenemos un curso específico para los que hablan español en su casa. Se llama Spanish for Native Speakers. El propósito de este curso es avanzar tus habilidades del español, especialmente de escribir y de leer en español. Además del lenguaje, estudiamos la cultura, las tradiciones, la literatura, la geografía y la historia de los latinos en Latinoamérica. Nos vemos en clase. Chao, chao. Hola, me llamo Raquel Rodríguez y tomé español para nativos. Me gustó mucho la clase porque pude aprender mucho sobre la cultura latinoamericana y porque aprendí a fortalecer mis habilidades del español. Recomiendo mucho la clase de español nativos porque aprendí mucho sobre Latinoamérica, aprendí también mucho sobre las culturas de otros países y me hizo ser más confidente con mi español y comunicarme con mis amigos y familiares. Me gustó mucho mi clase de español 2 para nativos porque me dio confianza en mis habilidades de español y creo que les puede ayudar mucho a ustedes también. Recomiendo la clase de español de nativos porque aprendimos muchas cosas de Latinoamérica que no sabíamos. Bonjour les élèves de Lanier Middle School. Je m'appelle Monsieur Sisson et je suis prof de français ici à Lanier High School. Hi everyone. My name is Mr. Sisson and I'm one of the French teachers at Lanier High School. 
You have a very important decision to make at this time. Which foreign language are you going to take in high school? Well, you can take Spanish or you can take French. This is not a competition between languages and who can have the most students because all languages are equally great and beneficial. After all, I've studied French, Spanish, Japanese, sign language, and even Latin. What I will tell you is this. Our French classes are easier to get into your ninth grade year. They're easier to get into in general. There's more space because everybody's trying to take Spanish. So why not set yourself apart from other people and take something different? Be unique. Also, if you want to take four years of French, you would need to get into French your ninth grade year. You could take through French four or possibly AP and get some college credit. And by the way, taking three or four years of the same foreign language looks excellent on your college applications. And you're more likely to get into your dream college. So why not take French? I would look forward to saying bienvenue, which means welcome as you come in to my class or to one of our classes on the first day of school. Have a great rest of your year and go Longhorns. J'aime français parce que je viens de Canada et mes amis parlent français. Aussi, j'aime la culture et la cuisine française. I like French because I'm from Canada and my friends speak French. Also, I like French culture and food. Aimez-vous la philosophie? Aimez-vous la littérature classique? Gourmez-vous quand vous écoutez un peu son dit versel? Alors, considérez prendre de cours de français. Do you like philosophy? Do you like classic literature like The Count of Monte Cristo or Les Miserables? Do you cringe when you hear someone talking about the palace of Versailles? Then consider joining the French class. It's the best and it's so highly regarded as a beautiful language, even though it might not be as commonly spoken language like English. Bonjour, je m'apprends de le français parce que je prends de la nourriture delicieuse comme le croissant. I like learning about French because I learn about delicious food like the croissant. Salut! Je suis Nico and I think French is the most beautiful language. C'est unique pour moi et je m'en parle le français tous les jours. And I encourage you to learn it because it benefits my life and I think it will benefit yours as well. The last thing you need to consider when choosing a class for next year is whether you should register for a regular class or an honors class. Students who do well in their language arts classes enjoy reading and writing, and have good study habits are usually a great fit for the honors classes. If you still aren't sure what to take or you have specific questions, I'll be glad to answer them for you. We look forward to seeing you next year. Hi, I'm Grace. I'm a 10th grader here at Lanier and it's my second year in art here. The first art class that you have to take to take any of the other more advanced ones is the intro class, which is visual art comp one and two, and you learn all about painting and drawing and 2D and 3D things, as well as art history, and it gets you ready for the more advanced classes, which are draw and paint, ceramics, photography, printmaking, and AP art. Hi, I'm Sam Lee, and I'm here uh, at Lanier High School, and I am in the intermediate band class, or also known as symphonic band. Um, I really love this class. It has such a great community, like just throughout the high school, like you'll know everyone, like right off the bat. Every, so, everyone's just so nice. And I really look forward to continuing this class. Um, there's beginning band and then there's symphonic winds, which I am hoping I'll get into next year. So I, I'm so excited for you eighth graders and can't wait to see you guys. Linear High School Chorus, also known as the Linear Singers, is comprised of freshmen through seniors who have previous choral experience or start in the beginning chorus and don't have any experience at all. They can be part of a small group called Muse as well as participate in different events such as composer 
performances, district honor chorus, all state chorus, as well as literary. Students last year participated in all of these events and our men's quartet from literary won first place in our region. In addition, we went to Disney World last year and we'll go again as soon as it is safe. And we ended the school year singing virtual choirs as well as virtual graduations for our seniors. This year looks a little bit different. However, we continue to sing and want you to join us in the Lanier Chorus. Hello there. My name is Emily. I'm a junior in the Music Tech Pathway, and I'm here to tell you about why you should probably take Music Tech. So pretty much in this class, we learn about like the basics of creating music and sound design and like basically mist mixing and mastering and, and recording and all the stuff that goes into making a song. Um, I personally, I've loved this class a whole lot because you're given tons of creative liberty and freedom to express yourself while still learning so much about like the process that goes into audio production stuff. Um, so if any of those things sound interesting to you, then you should take music tech because it's really, really cool and it's good and you're going to have fun. Hi, I'm Ian and I like music tech because it's a great way for me to make music and collaborate with others on making music. Join music tech. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Amir Al-Janabi. I'm a junior in Linear High School. Um, I would, orchestra is the finest class you could possibly take. Um, obviously, as a ninth grader, you're gonna be in um, orchestra, uh, concert orchestra, and that's the best beginner class in this in general, because after that, you get really played through most pieces from like hard to like easiest, and you really get the mindset for the future classes, because I know once you take, you're gonna keep wanting to go, and I just recommend it entirely. It's the best class, and you're gonna love your experience. Hi, uh, my name is Kaylee Finley, and I'm a junior here, and I am in our advanced drama class. Um, I really, really love the advanced drama class because it's a really cool way just to get to do kind of all the aspects of theater. For the advanced drama class, we do a couple of shows a year, and we also do productions in like all different ways. So this year, I've been helping out with the props element of it, the costumes element. I've been able to help with the sets and moving pieces, but I'm also an actor in our like one act competition play, which is also a really cool opportunity we have at the school. Um, it's a higher level course. Um, but I really, really loved it. So to actually be able to be in this class, I took intro theater or theater fundamentals my freshman year, and then I took our acting class my sophomore year, which is just another kind of sort of theater class. Um, I really, really loved the intro class, actually, when I took it when I was a freshman. It's super fun because you get to kind of try things out. I know there was one show where I was kind of like directing it, and there was another where I was acting in it, and there was one where I was acting where I didn't even use words. And um, I just found out like all sorts of different things and I really got to try things out. It's a really great place if you want to um, just learn about theater and just give it a try, you know? Um, I've also taken part in some after school productions. I've been in a handful of plays and a musical or two, and it's been so much fun. I really encourage you guys to take part in it. Um, coming into high school can be hard because it's very different than middle school. Um, it can, you won't, you may not be like have classes with your friends, but theater is a great way to meet people and to grow in your skills. Even just as a person, before my freshman year, I was really, really scared of public speaking and I literally would not talk in front of anyone. But now I talk in front of people all the time and I love giving presentations and I've just grown so much as a person and as a performer and I've just made so many friends and it's really fun. I really encourage you guys to take part in the theater program and come join the family. Bye, I hope to see you guys next year.